Ah, welcome in to Scriptic Criminal Stories. It's been a while since I've uh, done one of these. They have, but they've added like a bunch of new cases and everything. Even though you've got the, like this one going on up here. Dead Man's Phone, Urgent Cases. That's new. They're adding new episodes every Thursday. We're going to do those soon, I'm thinking about it. Of course, you've got the premium series that were done here, which is Season 1, Red Man. And Season 2, Unmasked. I've already done uh, playthroughs of that, so you can check those out. We've also got Supernatural stuff. Uh, oh, this viral one, I did that. That was a good story. They even put in drama stories. But we are going to look at one of these that is trend on the trending side called Weird Tides. Not entirely sure what the story is, but it looks to be interesting. Okay, so bizarre things start happening in a forgotten coastal town. A group of teenagers need your help to find answers. Very interesting. And it is a three episode story. And you can see that the first episode is 40 minutes, then the last two are 35. So, definitely looks to be interesting. Episodes 1 description reads, After witnessing a mysterious event at sea, a group of teenagers search for a missing loved one. Ooh, this will be good. So, let's get into it. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, like it's it's called a mini series. Oh, that's a nice little video. Nice photos. Wait, who are you? What does that even mean? I guess started things off with a nice little joke. That's funny. Yep, got to keep an eye on each other in those choppy waters. Wait, what's going on They've here? They've gone in. They've all gone in the sea in this storm. I mean, I can understand Willow. She's been a bit, a bit unsettled since everything with her sister. But the others, they're crazy. Willow's sister is still really unwell. So we're hanging with Willow a bit more than we normally would. Even though she's kind of weird. Everyone's just splashing about in the water like it's a sunny day. It's insane. Well, seems like everybody's certainly having fun, but that lightning's a cause for concern. Something happens. Oh god. There's something in the water. Hmm. 
from what's in the water. Oh, it's one of those cliche bits. Well, what on earth is going on? Yeah, I'm curious to see what this is. Oh, please. There's always tons of weird videos like that around. Whether or not it gets leaked wouldn't make a difference. Is Davey like one of those paranoid conspiracy theorists and everything? Oh, someone post it, for goodness sake. Well, whatever it was, it was very shiny. Yep, it would definitely qualify as that. Well, for certainly a very interesting surprise there. Wonder what it is. Some kind of undersea creature, some kind of supernatural phenomena. Maybe it's a little of both. Oh hello, what's this? Sherpa. <laughs> Reports of missing cats. Someone else see lightning under the sea. Oh that looks cool there, that photo. Seawater is reportedly hot. Okay. That is a lot of dead fish. Okay, I guess that's everything on here. Okay, back to this. Seems like there's not many options for chat rooms. I mean, it's not surprised this is a mini series, so it's probably more limited to just one specific chat group or maybe one chat app or something like that. Yeah, I saw lots of crazy things on that Sherpa app. <laughs> I still think that's a funny name. Not really much in terms of visual surprises. It's just your standard uh, chat style app. It is, but you know, you got my little commentary to keep you engaged, and it's probably going to take a while for the story to, although probably not too long for the story to really kick off. This is only like three episodes, so they'd have to get into it pretty quickly. I mean, we're about roughly several minutes into the first episode, and that's supposed to be 40 minutes long, so... I don't really imagine it being too long before the story kicks off, unless it's like it doesn't really kick off until the end of the first episode, then the then two and three are just like all everything happening, 
And you know, this is just like the build up for the first episode, or not the first episode, the story. Should have thought that through. I mean, that is possible. Unfortunately, we have to sort of wait and see if that is the case or if something's going to happen in this episode. Although if it does, like I said, chances are it'll probably be at the end of the first episode. Usually in these stories, those things do end up being connected. Ghosts. Always an interesting idea, ghosts. <laughs> Be kind of fun if it was ghosts, though, wouldn't it? What's a man eating tuna man? Well, that's a very long time this town hasn't been normal. Do they know anything about their own town? Well, I mean, that does sound all pretty creepy, it does. Yeah, at the same time, kind of cool. A lot of old stories in this kind of town, it seems. Mm -hmm, looks like something's going on there. Oh, that's so you know what you expect to hear. Fishing boat in a storm. That is a bad combo. That's not a good sign. Or that or his battery died.
Oh, you'll all look for him. I'll be sitting doing very little else. Oh, here we go. We got a breaking news. Man missing after Megastorm hits. Oh, it's nice to see they included those news alerts in the game. I always thought they were kind of fun. You know, they added in a bit of extra to the story. Willow. Okay, so we got a one-on-one -on -one chat going on, I see. I knew there'd probably be these here and there. Thanks, that's kind of a weird way to... Okay, well, whatever. I'm a pretty good secret keeper, I think. Ooh, found something. Oh, maybe it is to do with the weird lights, you never know. Wait, what? Dying, what on earth are you talking about, Willow? Okay, I gotta see what this is. I need to be see shown. Is that a snake? What the? What on earth is that? Ted. Yeah, that is the question. That doesn't look like an octopus arm to me. Oh, no, let's just go with fish tank. Hmm, guess she was hoping for that. Oh, but now we're on to a one-on-one -on -one chat with Davy. I was signing on whether or not to break these up into like two videos, like 20 minutes each, but seeing as they're only like, the whole episode's only 40 minutes long, it just seems easier to record it all in one fell go. It does, just one long episode. I don't, don't really do a lot of long episodes, but you know, as this is only a three episode series, it just seems easier to have one video for each episode. Oh, 
We don't really have a lot of chat responses here while playing. It's mainly just reading along while seeing what everyone's saying. Oh yeah, check them out. A morbid date. Never thought I'd hear that kind of term. Up, oh, and we're back to the group chat. It seems like we really don't really need to choose where to go. It just sets itself up automatically. It does. Is that someone in a hazmat suit? Oh, well, that's definitely not a good sign. Okay, see, now things are starting to kick off, they are. You know, it's like we're kind of really starting to, the story's really starting to show itself, at least the beginning of it. You never know, picks might help. That looks more than sand. There's like patterns in it. Yeah, enough to do a runner. Hey, are you free to talk? No, I, I was, I was running after it, but something, something just happened. I just checked my phone. And my dad's live location just came on. He, or his phone is down the coast, uh, Ridley Bay. I'm walking there now. No. I have to do this alone. I don't want Louise. I, I don't want any of them to see me like this. Look. What if Dad's done something crazy? I haven't told anyone this before. Not even like Louise or anyone. But... He's not very well. He's like, I guess, he's like, really depressed. Like, since Mum left, he's just kind of like, he doesn't like seeing himself. He never smiles, not properly, and you don't think he could have. Why was he out in the storm? He would have known it was... I can see Ridley Bay. Oh my god. Dad's boat. That's Dad's boat.
Oh boy. Looks like something has definitely happened. Not sure how this is going to go, but oh boy, I don't think it's going to be anything good. Well, by the sounds of it, he's only, it's only the boat that he's found. Oh yeah, that's not in good condition at all. Okay, so yeah, just the boat that's been found. That's definitely a phone that's been in a storm. I swear, parents always seem to use their kids' date of birth as their password i don't see why they do that i mean it can be kind of obvious if you think when you think about it recordings okay are we going to be able to listen to these recordings i would imagine so Oh, why not? I mean, we end up getting to hear it anyway, so... <laughs> I failed you, God. I failed you. <laughs> I failed your mother as I I failed my work as a boss, and I failed you as a dad. I'm, I'm nothing. And all that may be, like, impossible. <laughs> it was never... Never. It was never for a lack of love. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Goodbye, Colin. Oh boy, that's that's not good. That's very bad. That uh, wow. Can't say I expected that. They found him? So he's still alive. Holy crap. I don't really think now may be the uh, main time for that. Yeah, where did they find him?
And another news bulletin. Missing fisherman found alive by a local woman searching for cat. Okay. Hey, well, I guess she definitely wasn't expecting to come across him while looking for a cat. Wonder what else we're going to find out before this episode's over. Yeah, yeah, I'm awake. Ugh, prawn cocktails, yuck. Not my favorite at all. Seriously, fatal blood alcohol? the hell's going on? Did he just wake up then? And upright in bed, okay. Oh, I hope we don't see a picture of that. Ugh. Well, I was hoping we wouldn't see a picture of that, but there it is. Like, what the fuck? Okay, that stuff is... I think that moment's moving. It's what? Yeah, that's a holy fuck moment. Yeah, I don't think that was vomit at all. Okay, that is definitely creepy. Very, very creepy. Okay, we're back on Sherpa. Has Matt reportedly dangerous? Okay. Okay, missing cat discovered.
Power station's making strange noises, okay. And doesn't look like there's anything else here, so going back. And we're back in the group chat, okay. Well, that's good. No other hazmat sightings, but whether or not that really is a good thing, we don't know. Still all quiet there, probably doesn't know about the whole black vomit thing incident. Okay, that's okay. Don't know what's happening with being ah. That was fast. In one night? That is shockingly fast. Something clearly happened out there. Hi guys. I just asked Conan if I could use his phone. Just, just to say a, a massive thank you to you all for searching for me. You're such a great group of mates, and Connie's so lucky to have you. How about you all come around for dinner soon? I'd really love to see you. Yeah, he did sound a little strange there. All right, later. But yep, that was the first episode done. And whew, that was a pretty good story, I gotta say. It's definitely starting to kick off now. Like I said, it seems like that all towards the end is where things really start. You know, the weirdness, asking what's going on, what's happening, what is this thing? And I gotta admit, I am curious to see what's next, but won't be able to for about half an hour. Even though I could skip with the coins, but definitely a good point to call it here because that's the first episode done. And I am definitely looking forward to seeing 
what these other two stories have in store for us, and I hope you are too. So, thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Weird Ties from Scriptic Stories, and if you feel like playing the game yourself, you can find it in the App Store. And I hope to see you all for episode two. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to leave a comment with your little theories about what could be going on or if you just want to say something. I hope you all take care and I shall see you all next time for more scripted games.